All right, so I want to talk about something called the lookup function. Uh, Excel has this, Google Sheets have has this. This is just a way that you can provide, you can look up data from a table. So I'm going to demonstrate that with uh, with our BMI, um, our BMI spreadsheet. You should have done this earlier, I think, in the semester. You enter a person's weight, and that's in pounds, and then you can enter their height in feet. And then you can enter their their height in inches and there was a calculation for something called bmi which is a measurement of a person's health based upon their weight and their height so i mean you can't just say a person is is not healthy if they weigh a lot because they might be very tall um, on the other hand they might be very short and uh and and so that might also measure the, the health measurement might differ with that so um the point is, it's just a measurement of a person's health based on their height and weight. So here's the formula, and I'm going to double click it so you can see it a little better. Uh, basically, you take the um, the weight, which is 209, and then you're going to uh, divide it by the height in inches. To get height in inches in this case, I took B5, which is the height in feet, multiplied it by 12 because there's 12 feet or 12 inches per feet per foot, and then I just added the inches um, the height in inches from, from the, so if this person's 5'10", it'd be 5 times 12 plus 10 would give them their total height in inches. Don't worry too much about that for this assignment because that's not important. But then we raise that to the second power and then we multiply that by 703. For this assignment, we really don't have to worry about the, about the, the that particular formula. So, um, what what I do want to do here, though, is we're going to take that number that's calculated. In this case, it works out to 29, 29.985. Um, and I wanted to show you this. It tells me that that person is obese. Now, let's say that this person didn't weigh as much. Uh, let's say he weighed um, 150. Now, watch what's going to happen right here to the word obese when I change this to 150. Uh, 150. Ah, if I can just get it in there. One, five, zero. Why is that not doing that right? One, five, zero. Okay. Uh, I'm going to press enter. And notice it, this changed to normal weight. Um, and if I change the height, let's say to five, one, it changed to overweight because this person would be, oh, her, the BMI would be overweight, would be 28.3. Now, I, I just pulled this off the web. Um, you're underweight if your BMI is less than 18.5. Your normal weight, if, if your BMI is anywhere between 18.5 and 24.9, and you're overweight if your BMI is 25 to 29, and you're obese if, if BMI is 30 or more. Those are the, the categories that they've established for this. So uh, you can ignore this down here. It's not really part of what we're doing, but um, it does tell us how we're going to make these categories. So what you do to, to, to work with this thing called VLOOKUP um, is you're, you're going to build a table. And notice I built the table over here. And I put zero because that's the starting bottom weight. And if you're zero to 18.5, you would be considered underweight. If you're 18.5 to 24.9, you're normal weight. Now notice that I put the underweight here because that means from here up to this point, anything in that range, anything in this B9 over here that um, falls in that category, would, would it would look this up in this table and it would find that it, they're underweight. But if they were, if they, in this case, it's 28.3. So notice 28.3 falls between 24.9 and 29.9. .9, so it grabs this, okay? So let's look at how that formula is created. So you start out with an equal symbol, just like every formula, and then you put the function name, which is uh, V lookup, stands for vertical lookup. Don't worry about that, but it's just what we're going to use. And then B9, notice, is the cell here that we're actually going to use to look up the, da the, the data in the table. So that's the number you're looking for to look up. You're looking up whatever's in B9 in this case. Now, where are you going to look that up? Well, you're going to look it up in the range E4 through uh, F7. And so it's here. This is your range. Okay. Now this last little number right here is called the index. And it's a little bit weird, but basically it's how many columns 
in that range uh, over RU. So this is the first column. This is the second column. So you just put a two here since it would be the second column. If you had a bigger table, it would make more sense. You might be looking up this value, but you might be going over to like the third or the fourth column to actually return that value to this point. Okay. So that's a quick overview of how we might look something up in a table. I don't really even need this 30 because basically if I delete this, it's going to still, it's going from 0 to 18.5, that's underweight. 18.5 to 24.9, that's normal weight. 24.9 to 29.9, that's overweight. And then anything over this is going to be obese. Got it? All right. So let me um, add, go one step further here with you on this. Supposing we had some patients and we work in a doctor's office and we've got our patients here. I just put patient one and so forth. And we know their weight and we know their height and feet and their height and inches. So we know how to calculate the BMI. And so with that BMI, it's these three numbers uh, used in that formula. Don't worry too much about that formula. But once I've got that, I can actually um, I can copy this down. So I'm copying it down. I've already done it, but I'm copying it down. And you see nothing changed. So uh, this person's BMI is 38. This person is 17. So what I want to do is I want to get, um, I want a list or I will, over on the right hand side, I want to tell me if that BMI is normal, obese, um, underweight. Is patient one normal? Is 19.22 a normal weight? No, is, is that person overweight? Is he, you know, it's exactly where does he fall in what category? So again, we did the, we used the VLOOKUP. I'm going to scroll back up so you can see it a little better. But uh, here's the, fun, the, the formula, equal VLOOKUP E20 colon E4 through F7 comma two. Now I'm going to talk about why I put these dollar symbols in here in just a second, but let's go back and revisit the formula. V lookup, what are we looking up? What value? Well, it's over here in E20, right? E20. Okay. So that's the first part of the formula uh, of the function. The second point is where, where is the table? Well, the table's way up here. And what I did was I included E4 through F7. Do you see that? Uh, and then we're actually going to look up the value here and use the second item in the column to return um, that val that word to the, the cell. Okay, so I do that, and then I can copy that down, okay? And so it gets copied down. Let me show you what would happen, though. I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to take out those dollar symbols. If you remember, dollar symbols in this context mean it's an absolute cell reference, and that is, um, ah, mess it up, F- no, was this be F8, F7, I think. Okay, so we're saying E4 through F7, right? E4 through F7. That looks fine. So that's that works just great for that. But when I copy it down, notice what happens. It doesn't work very well because what's happening is it's 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 moving that range down based on where it's being copied to. So in this case, it works great because it's it's going to take this number right here and it's going to look it up in this table. But notice when I've copied it down, it takes this number right here and we wanted it to. We wanted it to take the next one down because I've copied this down. But notice e, it's now E5 through F8. E5 through F8. It should have been E4 through F, um, F7. So we don't want the this table to change. So to fix that, we go in here and we just, we, we make, we add dollar symbols here. Um, and I'm going to I'm going to cheat and use something called F4 to do that. Oh, I can't find F4 on my in this computer. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put a um, the dollars in myself. We don't we don't want the uh, we want the E and the four to stay constant, and we want the F and the seven uh, to stay constant. So now when I press enter, it's good here. But now let's copy it down. See if it works. All right. So that's how you would do that. Uh, you would you would cut you would make sure that whoop, make sure that range in there is just has the dollar symbols on it so that it stays absolute. It doesn't change as this formula is copied down for the others. Okay, that's a quick overview of the V lookup function.